dog's about to yell at somebody. It's fucking hot out here. Lights. Boom. Hands up if you're an idiot. everyone welcome back I know it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded anything on a chopper between vacation and other shit coming up it's been kind of not on hold but uneventful I know I said I was gonna be working on the wiring getting that finished up and it's pretty much all finished now there's a couple loose ends I just need to solder together but I have two working headlights working tail light working ignition and working starter yep so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what exactly I did this will be pretty much an end-all be-all guide to chopper wiring for the bare bones minimum wiring that you probably want on a chopper. There's gonna be no speedo, no tack, no turn signals. It's only, this thing literally only has headlights with high beams. That's just kind of riding a lot of back roads. Tail light with a brake switch, ignition, and a push button starter. That's it. Let me grab my diagram real quick and I'll give you a quick rundown of what exactly all goes into this. All right, so this, if you want to pause for right here, this is the diagram that I used. This is a mix between buddy of mine, what he told me he did, and a schematic I found online. Kind of mix the two together to, to tailor it to what I wanted, because there's a couple differences to what he has that I have on this bike, and vice versa. Now, before I get into this, I am in no way, shape, or form an electrician, or anything of the sort. I understand how 12 volt systems work, but I am no expert by any means. So with that being said, we're going to start here. Forgive my crude drawing, like I said, this is just some shit I mocked up real quick. So the batteries down here, of course we have a 6 gauge wire going directly to the starter. From the positive terminal to the starter, this is all new wiring, I didn't reuse anything. From there on the uh, up tube on the back, I have a 30 amp fuse. It's supposed to be a breaker. Couldn't find a breaker I wanted, so I just have a fuse for now. I may wire, solder in a breaker later. Um, having a fuse over a breaker can kind of leave you high and dry. If it pops, you don't have any spares. A breaker, you can just kind of, you know, reset. And over here on the negative side of the battery, straight to ground on the rear engine mount. And up here, the, volt, the stock voltage regulator that comes out of the primary, I believe is where it's at. It's hooked directly into that, that breaker or that fuse. And then from the 30 amp goes directly into the power in for the key ignition. And then this is a three position key. Um, I'm only using two of the positions right now. I'm eventually gonna wire it up so I can have the coil power with no headlights and taillights. But right now everything's on the same uh, position on the key. From the key ignition, we got power coming from the battery to the coil and then both wires from the new coil or from the new ignition wheel going into the coil. And again, I'll go over all this in detail on the bike. And then from the same spot on the key, another wire coming off to a 10 amp fuse. This is just the accessory stuff. Going straight up to the headlights with it grounded up on the uh, front of the frame. And then all the way back to the brake light. And then I got power going to the brake light switch as well. This is actually incorrect. There should be another wire here. Uh, actually, there should be one coming from the brake light to the power. And then brake light switch is cut, is spliced in here. But anyway, that's it. Bare bones, bare bones stuff on this chopper. So everything is wired up, all the wires are ran. I just need to clean it up. A little bit more to solder, other than that, we're good. All right, so before I get into this, definitely are not the correct headlights. Well, the ones you saw that I was gonna use, those were these ones. These had a redundant ground inside of them. I don't know why or what the purpose of it was, but I have like, 500 broken fuses because I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. Basically, they had a ground to the inside of the metal case that was causing it to ground out wherever I put it. It wasn't as simple as just use that as the ground. It was just a fucking nightmare. It took me over a week to figure out that was the issue. So now I just went and bought some LEDs from a local hardware store that I'm going to have on here for now. Not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, in a tight spot, you got to do what you got to do.
So this is all soldered, heat shrunk, everything. So that should give us a good light. Boom. And then again, I have the uh, switch over here for the high beams, which these ones change color, which is kind of cool, kind of, I don't know, not going to really get used, but high beams are there. And then I also have the tail light. The uh, brake switch doesn't work because there's no fluid in the reservoir, which means the switch isn't getting any pressure, but it is wired up. These wires that came with the rawhide ignition are... I kind of want to get rid of them and use my own wiring, this cloth wiring, but I really don't want to uh, have to re-splice everything, but I mean it only take a minute, and those wires are really fucking long. So I just recorded this whole section here that I'm about to say, and I didn't have my microphone on. So uh, hands up if you're an idiot. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I got everything wired up on the chopper. Nothing's tucked away yet, it's still just kind of out in the open, zip ties are still hanging about just because I wanted to film this in detail based off the schematic, exactly what I did on this bike. Again, if you're looking for bare bones, just headlight, tail light, this is going to be the wiring system for you. It's very simple, pretty cheap. I only used two packs of the braided 16 gauge wire, I think it is, and then I had to buy some 6 gauge wire from Lowe's, which was like five bucks a foot or something so and then a couple inline fuses which you can get on amazon for cheap too all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started real quick in detailed rundown of this wiring system all right so starting down here at the battery this is the six gauge wire coming directly off positive going directly into the starter other side of the battery you got that six gauge negative right there and that's going to that engine mount right there Coming off the battery again is the power supply for the rest of the bike. 30 amp fuse, um, recommend a breaker here. I'm probably gonna put one in here soon. Going all the way up the backbone. That 30 amp is going directly into the key. Switched power in. And then coming off of here are two lines. One is for the light assembly, and then one is for the ignition. So we're gonna go with the light assembly real quick, which is that one. It's going up to a 10 amp, going here, and then I have a couple wires soldered in here. And then this is the main power supply for the headlights. And then these ones are actually coming back down to the brake light and then power for the brake switch, which is right there. And then grounding points. This actually had good ground right here on the taillight bracket. The headlights are grounded right up here on this mount I made. There's a wire going down. That's about it for ground. All right, next wire coming off here is for the ignition. This wire is going directly under this little housing, directly onto the terminal. Come on. Anyway, it's going right there. Onto the terminal post for the uh, Dynatech coil. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is the regular stock coil. And then, if you look under there again, uh, there's two wires coming off of there, right? So again, one is that uh, power in, and the other two are coming back up through here. It's from the actual um, timing, or ignition timing. And they're going down the down tube here across whoop, over to those connections those are the stock connections from the uh rawhide ignition uh, let me walk around the bike here and then that wire's coming out right under the frame there and then going directly up into the uh timing <clears throat> so again that's very bare bones very simple ignition system um like i said earlier i was having a lot of troubles with the headlights that i bought I had to change them up to these square ones i mean they still look cool i mean they're bright as hell so it is what it is yeah so next thing is going to be to set the actual electric timing which should be pretty straightforward the guys from rawhide are all about helping me out i've messaged them a couple times they sent me a whole like detailed list of what i need to do and said if i have any issues while i'm doing it They'll talk me through it over the phone. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, but nice of them to reach out like that. And just a quick little update. I am having some fitment issues with the new tire. I measured this with the old tire, and that was a stupid-ass mistake on my part. But not that big of a deal. I got some new struts I'm going to weld on, and I just have to kind of wiggle this bumper so I can get some clearance. And then once that's done, I got all the oil in today. I'm going to fill it up, put the tank on, put some gas in it, and, f and fire her up finally. We're getting there. It's fucking hot out here, though.